Okay, so you probably clicked this video because you've heard about AI and how it can save a lot of time for you and your business. For those who don't know me, I've been using AI now for the last six months. And let me tell you, if you use it the right way, you can literally transform your workflow and save a handful of hours every week. In this video, I'll show you 10 of my favorite AI tools that I regularly use for my businesses, and each of them work really well together. So stay tuned till the end. Let's stop talking and actually get into it. The first tool I want to talk about is called Haller AI. This is a new AI tool I found during the last couple of weeks, and it's really helpful for solopreneurs or anyone looking to implement AI in their business. To briefly tell you what it is, think of it like a free co-pilot that'll do all the content writing you would normally need to hire a bunch of people for. Haller can do a lot of things, like develop a marketing plan, generate accurate NDAs, meaning a contract or agreement, create invoices, generate FAQs, you get what I mean. Since the tool is made specifically for business-related documents instead of being a general-use AI tool, the quality of all outputs will be so much higher than what you'd usually get from something like ChatGPT. Now, I can't really say much more than that, so go try it out for yourself. As I said earlier, they have a completely free plan. It's very easy to use with a user-friendly dashboard, so yeah, if you want to utilize AI more, check it out in the description. Next up, Fireflies. I've mentioned this AI tool in some of my previous videos, and I can't stress enough of how much of a time saver this really is. Fireflies is an AI-powered note taker with the main purpose of automating meeting notes. For someone that regularly attends a lot of different meetings, this will be worth gold. Once you install the Chrome extension, Fireflies will automatically keep track of your meetings regardless of which software you use, like Zoom, Google Meet, Teams, WebEx, you get what I mean. This obviously makes it really easy to create notes for each meeting, leaving you more time to listen to what the other people actually have to say. One thing I also really like is that you can seamlessly integrate Fireflies with your CRM software so that it automatically sends all transcript data and logs straight to your system. This could be HubSpot or Zoho CRM. The point is that they made sure to include a lot of integrations. Even if you're a student, you'll benefit from this. As you see here on their website, there are so many different use cases. In brief, Fireflies will help you with anything that requires you to take notes. Number three, UPDF. As you can tell by the name, this AI tool has to do with PDFs. Encountering unnecessarily long PDFs when doing business sucks. UPDF, however, is an all-in-one editor with so many features, I won't be able to mention all of them. Here are just some of the things you can use it for. Viewing PDFs, annotation, converting, organization, protection. So what I am here to talk about, though, are the AI features, because that's really where it stands out. So there's really three main use cases. Number one, summarizing your PDFs. Now, why this rather basic feature is good is due to the fact that it works great with longer documents. When I've used ChatGPT for analyzing bigger files, it usually turns out to be a total flop. With UPDF, you can not only summarize those longer files, but also turn them into key points, extract keywords, and generate an entire abstract. Number two, translating. They've deployed advanced AI algorithms to make it possible to translate any text into various languages. If you've ever struggled with documents in a foreign language, this will be great for you. Number three, PDF explanation. Explain complex concepts that appear throughout the text pretty cool if you often get some crazy in-depth information. Not to mention, and this is a bonus feature, it's got AI-powered OCR scanning. For those of you who don't know, this pretty much means their AI model will scan the entire document, even images, and then convert it all into editable text. Super helpful. Anyways, it's available on Mac, iOS, iPadOS, Windows, and Android. If you want to check it out, I also got you a 58% discount. Pretty specific, I know. Just click the link in the description. All right, quick pause. If you haven't already, make sure to sign up for my free newsletter in the description. I'll be sending weekly AI news along with some clever ways to leverage AI. There's nothing to lose by signing up, so just do it already. Moving forward. Number four, Jasper. Now I just want to take a little moment to mention Jasper, which is a tool I've also talked about before. Most people think it's a ChatGPT spinoff, and while it might be true, there's a lot more to it than that. What makes Jasper pretty special, and this is also my favorite feature, is that you can train their AI on your brand's tone and voice. This means you'll be able to avoid the very generic feel that ChatGPT always gives. I mean, I was using ChatGPT earlier today, and to be completely honest, 
it's really frustrating when you get a response that you just feel is AI generated. So if you're into marketing or want to improve your current marketing, consider giving Jasper a try. After all, it's an AI co-pilot specifically made for marketing performance. It might be on the more expensive side if we compare it to other AI tools, but if you ask me, it's totally worth it. Also, there's a Jasper Chrome extension, which is pretty cool. ChatGPT doesn't even have that. Moving on, let's talk about ad creative AI. And I know you've seen this one ad on Instagram of this dude showing something like making an ad for Tesla. Ad Creative is probably the leading AI tool for creating ad creatives, and they claim to provide up to 14 times higher conversion rates with their ads backed by data compared to ads that aren't backed by data. I'm not too sure if that's completely true, but nonetheless, their ad tool is really helpful. You'll be able to generate hundreds of banners and other creatives within seconds, and they actually look better than you'd expect from a fully driven AI tool. Actually, let's try it out while you're watching. I'm thinking something like an ad for how-to AI. Let's just fill in our brand and then quickly choose that we want to create the ad for our educational platform regarding AI. Keep in mind that this is what it turned out like after doing it really fast. I'm sure that you can imagine how good it will look if you put some time into it. Next, Durable. This AI tool is the GOAT of creating websites. Many solopreneurs or small business owners usually struggle a lot with creating a website since it requires either a lot of money or a lot of work. Website design is hard, you know, so tools like these are actually really useful. Durable has already created over 5 million websites, and considering how easy it is, I highly advise you to try it out as well. You just answer a couple of questions that'll take maybe a minute or two, and then you'll have a website ready with a contact form and all that other stuff. You can, of course, customize the layout and whatever, but the cool thing is that Durable will save you a lot of time by creating your website with built-in SEO and protection against any online threats. You also get other basic things like analytics, a custom web domain, and stuff like that, so it's really worth the money. Next up, Claude 2. This tool is like ChatGPT, but feels more human. It's kind of cool since you can train it on your brand voice like Jasper, so that you can avoid those generic AI responses even more. There's really not so much more to say than that except that it is free, you don't have to bother with any paid subscription, and people generally say that it is better than ChatGPT at analyzing longer content. However, this is not confirmed, so comment if you've experienced that it's better than ChatGPT at something specific. I'd love to know what you think. Number 8. Grammarly Grammarly with its new AI features is just incredible. Okay, so it's obviously really hard to always write completely perfect without any grammatical mistakes. And if you're running an online business, you most likely spend half your day just constantly writing with different partners or team members. Since Grammarly is available as a Chrome extension, you will be able to use it literally anywhere without it interfering with your work too much. Before though, Grammarly was just about perfecting your writing so that you could avoid any mistakes. Now, however, it will actually work like ChatGPT, meaning that you can prompt it to write something anywhere on the web. You can also tell it to improve the writing or change the tone of it. That's very useful if you ask me. Our second to last entry for today is Framer. This is also a website builder, but I'd say it's a little bit more advanced than durable. This obviously means a better looking website, but it might be hard to master if you're a complete newbie. Anyways, it's completely no code, meaning you at least won't need to be a programmer of some sort to use it. The two features that make me want to talk about Framer are, number one, the fact that you can easily tailor your website to multiple languages and regions, and number two, the Figma to HTML plugin. What that means is that you directly copy-paste your design from Figma straight into Framer. This is obviously really good if you already have a design completed and don't want to start from scratch. Now, I know probably 99% of you watching won't be having a ready-made design in Figma, so just bear with me. Other than that, it's really easy to connect Framer with a lot of common plugins like HubSpot, so that's nice. The last AI tool I'll talk about today is Before Sunset. Now this AI tool is no joke. It's nothing super advanced, but it will still help you out a lot. To summarize it quickly, you use it to increase your overall productivity by letting their AI model create to-do lists for you. You just fill in some things you gotta do, and it will create you subtasks, helping you plan your week and even provide you with personal analytics. I think it's pretty fun that you get stats on your own productivity, and it actually turns out to be pretty insightful. Try it out for yourself. That's all I had for today. If you found this helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. 
I really appreciate all the support you guys have given me, so keep it up. Have a great one.